Yo, what is up, guys? We are back for more Dokkan Battle content. Uh, a little late on this one. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you know, kind of been busy, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and I completely forgot because I don't really care about this unit. But for the people that do, STR Gohan and Piccolo Exchange unit is coming up next for Global Dokkan. You can see right here. Um, this is going to be the next Dokkan Fest on Global. Um, yeah, you know, uh, JP gets the freaking ninth anniversary. We got to deal with freaking Gohan and Piccolo, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is killing me. Um, so these guys, right? Um, they're, they're kind of a mixed bag in the sense that there are some that really don't like this unit. And then there are some that think they're highly underrated i would say they're slightly underrated now i don't agree with the discourse of people saying that they're better than 21 no and i firmly say that because this base form we're gonna go over this entire base form but I, this base form is just awful like they're it's terrible before they revive meanwhile 21 like she has stuff before she um transforms but um we're going to go over this unit. So, uh, you know what? Let me bring up. Uh, let's just go to Sand Saga. Let's bring up these guys, too. Yeah, let's bring these guys up. Um, Is that the... What you call it? I'm up. Is this the T-War? Is this T-War? Ah, uh, 130%. Yeah, it must be the T-War. That's odd. Okay. Um... All right, so Gohan and Piccolo, right? Uh, come on, Goku, can you auto translate? All right, so three key, hundred seventy percent. The stats: the Bond of Master and Disciple, or Saiyan Saga. I mean, we could look at both categories. They're not Bond of Master and Disciple is actually pretty good. Bond of Master and Disciple is actually crazy. Now that I think about it, because they have LRBs going, they have Future going. Future going may have gotten kicked out of the top ten units in the game. He's still uber strong. This guy's number two in the game right um why isn't bond of master and disciple is it not why isn't gohan i mean why isn't goku there that's odd i feel like you like goku should be here but anyway whatever um trunks is still solid super trunks honestly gets saved with the introduction of beast gohan this beerus is still pretty good um orange piccolo still top 10 um ultimate gohan really got a big resurgence so like this category is really strong really strong and that's where most of the meat and potatoes of the team is going to come from because saiyan saga s-u-c-k-s -S, sucks it sucks bro i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry it's going to pick a little the best you know on this team i'm like i'm saying in this saying this in the most non-joking way possible are they the best unit on this team they've aged they need an easy air Speaking of, the, when did they come out? 2022? Uh, they're, they're kind of a ways off. Uh, Raditz. I forgot. They have best unit in the game, Raditz. I I'm so sorry. Wait, Saiyan Saka is the best team in the game, bro. They have best unit in the game, Raditz. Uh, Kaioken, Goku, and uh, Great A Vegeta, the most unfortunate units of all time, in my opinion. They're, in my opinion, this was worse than Beast Gohan. Um, they're Dave Age. They need easy A's. They'll get theirs maybe sometime next year. Um, they get their easy A with the celebration, if I'm not mistaken. They're okay. They're not bad. They these guys definitely are not bad. They're not. Um, but it's like so Nap and Vegeta's good. This Gohan's alright, kinda, not really. Good. Pickle and go I mean, I'd say they're good, right? Like, a bare minimum, they're good. I think the Banner unit's pretty good. I, this Piccolo's starting to age a bit, but he's still okay. Go on, this, um, in LR kick, Gohan's like, okay. Yamcha, I mean, Yamcha's a dodge unit, so I can't say anything but okay for him. I, I can't. Same thing with Yajirobe. Like, I can't say anything but okay for him, because they have the dodge. But it should, yeah, that is. So, most of the meat and potatoes of the team... That you're going to build 
is going to be from Bonds of Master and Disciple if you want to run this unit as a leader. Me, personally, I would never want to run this unit as a leader because I'm not running two of these guys. Absolutely not. Because remember, you only get one revive. So one would be stuck here. And oh boy, let's let's get to the pass. So two key 150% attack and defense. It's good. Less HP remaining, the more attack. I wish I was defense, to be honest. I wish I was defense. Uh, further attack and defense, 100% when super is activated. So uh, that's fine. Here's what's bad. If your HP is 70% or higher when you receive the first or second attack, Damage reduction received by 40%. Now, you know, on paper, I'm like, oh, wait, look, this is fire. Here's the problem. If at any point in the turn, like this isn't a start of turn thing, and then they just keep it for the rest of the turn if they go below 70, this, is, this can be a mid-turn thing. If at any point they go below 70% HP, you lose that damage reduction. So let's say you're at you're at 80% HP, right? They get super slot one. They fall below 70% HP. Their next attack is going to hit them like a truck because they won't have this damage reduction anymore. In my opinion, this is one of the stupidest things they've ever given to a unit. And honestly... If they had just kept it like this, maybe lower this to 60%, but it was like a start of turn thing, it can't change mid-turn, this base form would be so much better. So much better. Slap them in slot two, they'd be so much better, man. But because it can deactivate mid-turn, it completely kills this base form. It kills them. It kills them bad. Um, Two key and 30% attack and defense for all allies on Bottom Master, Disciple, or Saiyan Saga. I mean, that's good. For three turns when number is three. What? They, these JP translations, bro. Um, for three turns when number is when number three. So third turn. I guess third turn, maybe. Um one key, thirty percent attack and defense up um for all super class allies. Okay, so like they have the support. It's 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 this. This bullet point remove this bullet point. Well, I mean remove the bullet point, they're not great either. But remove this bullet point, and there's so much uh, like replace his bullet point or like fix his bullet point they're so much better and then here's where the revive comes in if your hp is 70 percent or below at the start of turn you attack or after the seventh turn from the start of battle even if an ally participating in an attack including yourself is ko'd your hp will recover to 70 percent only once and then kid gohan will be replaced so kid gohan will be the um uh you'll exchange into kid gohan right uh, super attack effect greatly raises attack and defense for one turn to cause them immense damage. Like, that is good, right? Uh, and then you revive with Gohan. Now, this Gohan's crazy. Now, this Gohan's insane. So, this Gohan gets two key 150% attack and defense. Uh, increases attack and defense by 100% when forming a super. And further increases attack by 100% when HP is 58% or higher. Um, on the bottom master and disciple team, like, that definitely can happen. Because Beast Gohan is there, right? Uh, for one turn after appearance. So, for his first turn. Uh, 12 key, uh, 300% attack and defense when super is activated, and then guaranteed crit. Insane damage. From his following turns, uh, um, what you call it? Uh, super effective against all types. So that is good. That's very good. Two key to super class allies. When there's an enemy in the pure Saiyan category, which in the ninth anniversary, this, this, there's a lot of this, is uh, seven, a very high, so 70% chance that a crit will be activated. When a character with Goku in their name is on your team, they will. Oh. They will dodge. So he has guaranteed dodge for one turn. And then afterwards, he'll have 50% chance to dodge. Oh, that's insane. And then massively raises attack and defense for one turn. Yeah, this Gohan is stupid. This Gohan compared to Transform 21 is better. But the reason why I have 21 above this Gohan and Piccolo is because. This base form is absolutely abysmal. Whereas 21's base form, like, you know, she has dodge. Like, you have an out. Um, obviously, I don't recommend summoning. But, like, they're not bad. I wouldn't call them a bad unit. Definitely not. Um, and then we have their banner unit, Vegeta and Nappa. Awakening of the strong warrior Saiyan, Vegeta and Nappa. It's most likely going to have a different translation when it hits global data download. Um, Conquest of Fear. So, that's Terrifying Conquerors, right? Yeah, I believe Terrifying Conquerors. 
Um, come on, Google. Terrifying Conqueror is 3k, 130% stats. So, 150% attack and defense. Uh, 80% attack when performing a super. Every time you attack, uh, key plus one up to four. And attack and defense plus 30% up to 120. That's good. It's when they attack and not when they're receiving an attack. Always performs an additional and a super high probability of performing a special. So, is that a 70% chance? That's really crazy. Wow. If the opponent you attack is in a state where attack or defense is lowered, the attack is super effective against all types. 30% damage reduction when in slot 3. And then guaranteed guard when there's an ally um, in the um, terrifying conqueror or pure sand category in the same rotation. So, like, they're really good. They're really strong. They greatly reduce attack and defense. They raise attack and defense on our super... Like, they're, re they're really good. They have damage reduction. Because, like, that's perfect. Because you're not going to want to run a banner unit on rotation, right? Run them on in slot 3. Float them off. That's what banner units should be perfect for. And they are perfect for that. They have guard. They have the damage reduction. They can get their stats up easily. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, bro. It's... it's, it's... They're, they're pretty strong. They are pretty strong. Pretty strong. Um, So, I just want to look at the banner um where is gohan and piccolo's banner i obviously i wouldn't recommend summoning their banner is not too crazy um so like going to piccolo is meh they're okay they're not a great leader to be honest because you wouldn't want to run two of them i was betting it's pretty good terrorless is meh but like we have uh goku family category enemies so it's like he gets a little bit stronger right yamcha's okay you suck you suck you suck. Yeah. His banner is not too great. His banner is kind of... <sighs> not, not too hot. Not too hot. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the new Gohan and Piccolo arriving on Global Dokkan soon. Uh, we have to wait till, till the Global Data download to see exactly when they're coming. I'm not really sure. Um, let me know also if you're going to summon for them or not. If you do decide to summon, I wish you all the luck in the world. Like, subscribe for more Dokkan Battle content such as this. I'm going to catch you on the next one. I love y'all, and I'm out. Peace.